Hello, I am Dr. Deepti Venkatesh, Consultant Reproductive Medicine at Garbagudi IVF Center. Today we will be talking about the symptoms and signs of ovulation. In a woman having normal cycles lasting 20 to 28 to 30 days, ovulation occurs around the 14th to 16th day of the cycle. But sometimes we see that even with women having regular menstrual cycles, the cycles may be anovulatory, meaning that the egg is not growing or it is not releasing. So what are some of the symptoms and signs that we can use to look out for this ovulation? Symptoms are some, something that the woman can perceive and monitor. She might have increased libido or sexual drive. The, they might have watery cervical discharge, which resembles an egg white, which becomes thicker once the ovulation occurs. Sometimes women complain of a mild cramping pain in the lower abdomen, which might be on either side, depending on the side from which the ovulation is occurring at that month. Sometimes patients also complain of a mid-cycle spotting, which is known as ovulation spotting. And if they're extremely sensitive and monitoring their body temperature every day, early morning before getting out of bed, they might notice an increase in the basal body temperature. Coming to the signs of ovulation, all these changes that I met, just mentioned about the cervical discharge, the basal body temperature increasing, these are all under the control of reproductive hormones, which are estrogen, progesterone and LH. So once the estrogen increases beyond a level of 250 to 300 picograms, the LH increase happens and the same can be detected in an LH kit, which is easily available. It shows up as two dark lines. One is the control line and one is the test line or you can also do a blood LH. Once this has seen to be on the increase, ovulation occurs about 24 to 36 hours later. Another uh, sign of ovulation is that if you're doing a follicular monitoring scan, you can see a dominant follicle and after two days or after three days, that follicle collapses once it reaches a diameter of 18 to 20 millimeter. So this collapsed follicle and free fluid in the pouch of Douglas is another sign of ovulation. And on day 21 of a cycle, when you're having regular menstrual cycles, if you check the hormone progesterone and it is found to be more than three nanograms, this is also a sign that ovulation has already occurred. So these are some of the symptoms and signs of ovulation, which you can easily incorporate or get tested by a fertility specialist to, to see if you're having ovulatory cycles. For more such videos, kindly follow our channel and reach out to a fertility specialist.